Welcome back to my channel. This is Chef Abyssinia, and today we are going to be making cider glazed chicken. So this recipe is perfect for the holidays. Um, Thanksgiving is right around the corner, but a lot of folks don't like to use turkey on Thanksgiving. Like, who usually eats the turkey on Thanksgiving? So, in that case, we're going to be making cider glazed chicken. Let's get started. All right, guys, please make sure you read the recipe and the recipe notes. This recipe does include a brine that I'm not showing in the video, but you do want to make sure you brine your chicken and the recipe will be below. So we're gonna start with some celery, onion, and carrot. This will be our mirepoix. To our mirepoix, we want to add some crushed garlic cloves and a diced apple. Alright, once your mirepoix is all set, go ahead and add some of it to the bottom of a baking dish and then add your chicken. Your chicken should be patted dry. Proceed to stuff your chicken with the mirepoix, the butter, the garlic, and the apple mixture. Once your chicken is prepped and ready to go, go ahead and tie it with some butcher twine. If you don't have butcher twine, no worries. You can skip this step. This is a really nice spice blend that I have prepared for this chicken. So the recipe is listed below. Go ahead and check it out. All right, so pat your chicken dry, make sure it's completely dry, and then begin to season all sides of your chicken generously with this seasoning. Go ahead and place it in the oven to dry roast. So once you have that dry roasting for a bit, you're gonna pull it back out and brush it with some cooking fat. I am using canola oil. You can use butter because like, why not butter? I mean, you can use shortening, you can use extra virgin olive oil, whatever you decide. As your chicken is cooking, we're going to work on our cider glaze. To a pot, you want to add some cider, maple syrup, brown sugar, and butter. Mix everything together until well combined and then bring to a boil. So you want this mixture to reduce by half.
All right guys, here's the fun part. The chicken is almost done, so we're going to start to glaze it. Every few minutes or so, you want to take it out of the oven, glaze it, turn it, make sure it's cooking evenly. This is for sure a lengthy process. You're putting a lot of love into this chicken, but when it comes out, what? Look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It was so juicy, so flavorful, so moist. Like this is definitely a hit, and you can use this recipe with chicken or turkey. Now guys, check out this spread. This is the perfect holiday spread. I'm linking the recipe videos for these dishes as well. Go ahead and check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Like, share, comment below, and I will see you guys in my next video.